guys, uh, my name is Ramin Moazeni and I'm uh, going to talk about the JDBC wrapper functions that is part of the uh, EDU USC quincomo.jdbc package. Um, I guess the uh, starting guide for you guys should be to go ahead and look at the document that is posted on the base camp. Uh, it has the necessary information you need uh, about the, the the objects that are uh, about the classes that are that are in this package. Uh, the the main class that you need to use is database uh, database .java and then database operations class. Um, the database class has the functionality and the utility methods that you need for opening, closing the connections, and what you need for exec SQL executions. The database operations class has all the methods uh, needed for uh, calling a specific functions, function uh, for uh, for executing a particular task within a within a within a within a system subsystem component or subcomponent. For example, you wanted to uh, insert a default uh, system. Uh, what you have to do is that y is that you have to call the database operation class and then call that uh, insert default system method that is part of a database operation class and um, let me move on to the next section so if you want to add a new method to the uh, to um, to this package what you have to do is first of all you have to go ahead and um, and decide which which class that operation needs to be added to for example you need to add a method to the systems.java class what you go, wh what you can do is just go ahead and add the method to this class. Uh, what this class, what this method does is just it, it basically builds the SQL uh, string and then returns that SQL string. And what you had to do is that you had to go you have to go ahead and create the same uh, the same method on the database operations class with the same name, and uh, uh, and then in the, in, the, in that method uh, you go ahead and execute that SQL string. The rest of the methods, uh, uh, the rest of the uh, section of sections of this uh, document talks about uh, just the methods that uh, that you that that are that exist in this package, the JDBC package, and uh, for uh, the description of each of these methods, you can go ahead and take a look at the CoinComo uh, scripts that is uh, developed by Tom Eckenhausen. Uh, the name of each of these uh, JDBC wrapper function corresponds to the sa to the name that that are uh, uh, to the name of the JD to the name of the functions that exist in the database. So you can easily easily correlate between correlate between the uh, JDBC functions and the actual functions in the database. Now let me. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to mention is uh, is use this new method uh, in in your code. So anywhere in your code, what you have to do is go ahead and and instantiate and in, in instantiate an object of the database class, and then call the open connection. Once you call the open connection, you have an open you have a you have a connection open to the database, and uh, then instantiate an object of a database operation class. And then uh, set the database, uh, which means that passing the um, the uh, your connection to the database operation, and then call the method that you develop in the database operations class. And after you're done, you just close your connection. Uh, I guess I'm done with the document, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a walkthrough of uh, the classes that we have in the code. So all, as I mentioned, all the classes are in the uh, ADU USC quincomo.jdbc package, and we have the co component, Capsimo, database, the database operations, subcomponent, subsystems, and then systems. Um, the database class, as I mentioned, has the um, the methods needed for opening connection, closing the connection and executing the SQL connections, S SQL strings. So we have two, two different methods. It's execute qu query and then just execute. Execute it just basically executes the, uh, the SQL statement in the database. Uh, the execute query returns a result set and that's being used when you're returning something from a database and you need to, you need to pass that uh, to, to the GUI or, or you need to do something with, with the results basically. Um, the database operations class uh, has has the methods that that you need to use. Uh, you are not going to use any of the methods in the systems, subsystems, subcomponent, or or uh, component classes uh, inside your GUI code. Uh, uh, you need to use the database operations methods in your GUI code. And the reason for that is um, the advantage for that would be to just instantiate one object every time rather than just going and instantiating. Uh, 
an object of every of these components. Um, for example, let's say uh, you wanted to uh, you wanted to go ahead and and uh, use, for example, the saber, uh, set label rate function. As I mentioned in your code, you just instantiate an object of the database class, and then instantiate an object of, object of the database operations, and then use the set label rate function anywhere. Uh, this set, set label rate, as you see, uh, is part of the subcomponent class. So if I go to the subcomponent class, I will see the uh, an exact same function with the same name. Uh, and what that function does is just uh, uh, creates the uh, SQL that you need to do. You need to use. If I can find that. Where does this function? Interesting. Let me see here. Set labor rate. Here you go. So set labor rate is, uh, as you can see, the safe set labor rate has the same name as the one in the set uh, in the database operations. It's just that it's, it's just building up the SD SQL command that you need to execute in the database. Um, Yes, and, and then as you see, this is the actual SQL function you're building up. You're just passing through the uh, whatever, whatever argument that you're getting through your set labor rate function, which is in this case subcomponent ID and, and the actual labor. And then you're just returning the SQL, which you just created it, and you tr you're returning it as a string. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and, and just create the same, uh, you just, just wanted to add a new method, all you have to do is just um, create that same method here. Uh, with this name, and then you go ahead and build this, uh, build all the SQL, uh, uh, build the SQL command, and just pass it through to the database operations. Create the same function name there. It depends on if you are returning something or you're not returning. If you're not returning anything, the, the return time would be void. If you're returning something, would be based on what you're returning, a string or a, or, or an uh, array or or whatever you're returning. Um, I guess that's it from the JDBC functions that I wanted to talk about. So, <coughs> if, you, if you're just executing something on the database, mm -hmm. then you're going to call database SQL. But if you're returning, if you're returning or like results set, this is the stuff you're going to go through. Yes. So if, uh, as Ian mentioned, if if you're just returning, if you're just executing something, you have to use the execute method, as I mentioned. And then if you're returning something, uh, depends on what you're returning. Um, this is this is the actual example code you can use. And you will be using the uh, execute query method as because it's it's returning a result set for you, and then you can you can just go through that result set and just pass in whatever you need to do mm -hmm. to return to the to the GUI code. And so the JDBC package is nice because it encapsulates all the database functionality into one. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. it.